you have to have a pretty steely personality to work in neon. You just have to be ready to go to a glass funeral in a moment's notice. I love that I found a way to make illustrations in light that can still achieve the potential of being so illustrative and so conceptual and narrative. And then just neon is cool. <laughs> what can you say? I've had people ask me, is your work a play on the strip club, neon with the naked women in Times Square? That's not what I was thinking of at all. My stuff is more about making fun of this wicked image people have of women. And I'm kind of creating these bombastic versions of these like evil, crazy, psycho women that just want money, use sex as a weapon. Neon is from this seedy background and it just went hand in hand together. Before you begin any neon piece, it's really imperative to map it out. I'm gonna do the face of a pinup girl in neon, but I'm gonna make her even more bad and stick a cigarette in her mouth. You're basically taking these tubes and heating them up until they're pliable, and you're dropping them on top of this drawing, and you're tracing a drawing with glass. The goal when you're bombarding is to heat everything evenly. We're burning out and baking out all the impurities so you can get a perfect vacuum for the gas to live inside of. So if you look at this glass sign, the blue border is pure argon gas with a little drop of mercury in it which is like the classic blue neon color. But then they have these filled with xenon. We'll just leave it a little bit dimmer than it would normally be. Well, I'm not a commercial vendor. I'm just an artist. So this took me in total eight to 12 hours. You really never know until the very end when you light it up what you're gonna get. And you can burn yourself, you can cut yourself. You learn to be really careful. There's so many great women now. It really, it, Neon is a boys club that's slowly changing course, thankfully.